This is one of the rear units, or I should make it front, doesn't make a difference, but you notice it has a linkage on the opposite side. It has no idle circuit in it. It'll come down to about 1500 running roughly, but so you're not going to be able to go around town with this thing running, you know. But it'll kick in probably 3000. It's got a tag on it that says it's off of a Chevrolet 348 tri power which 347 Pontiac 348 you know that's uh, obviously I think this is a better carburetor it's got the side fuel see the other one has to the other one has a uh, front fuel all the Pontiacs that I've seen although I'm not a Pontiac guy I see the front one come in here then they go out and they got a right angle that cannot be good for fuel flow this to me is just look at the size of this cavity can you put a filter in there too if you wanted? It has one in it. Okay, this already has a filter in it. One more extreme good feature. So I think this is a whole lot better than what the Pontiacs had, but you know, you can't go around telling everybody that it's the original Pontiac. It, but it's a good set. It, this will make a good set. Okay, it's a good accelerator pump. Here we go. Pump them up, fire them up. We're going to show we're not going to be revving up long to blow our motor up for nothing. <laughs> right there. Uh, that works. That's perfect. That'll go on that tri-power setup. Be nice. Here's the matching end carburetor. Front or back, like we told you before. Same 348 Chevrolet. Man, you notice how nice this is? It's got all the original stuff to bolt the air cleaners on. Not all the broken off crap. They say, oh, well, the men ask car broke them all. That's just a poor excuse for saying that they're is there junk. This in here's got all the webbing in there. Once again, you got the side fuel. She's going to come up and you watch her on the mixture there. Now she'll come down about 1500. That'll set you back on your seat there. Okay, here's your center carburetor. No numbers, of course. It's got the all the way through the shaft. So you come up here and you can go put your other two on on this one, the way it's supposed to be with a progressive linkage. Well, now you can drive all day long in this carburetor. Got it set up for a, a heat type choke here, but we can convert that to electric for you if you want to. No charge. If it was mine, I would have the electric on there. Okay, we're, we're checking now for our mixture. On this one here, we want it somewhere between 11 and 12 parts of uh, air to one part of gas. There you go. There you go. Perfect. 11.5. Got plenty of vacuum here. See? This is for your distributor. You got one in the back, and we got a PVC valve or vacuum brake. Now, as you know, it's a good carburetor. As you accelerate, the mixture gets thinner. You save on fuel. There you go, you can put around all day long in that center carburetor here, but when you put them, kick them other two, look out. Time to start collecting the money. Here's the finished product. Pontiac Tri-Power. Intake with Tri-Power carburetor setup.